Ben Affleck reflected on the deliberately mischaracterized comments he made about his relationship with alcohol throughout his marriage to Jennifer Garner. For context, Ben and Jennifer got married in 2005, welcomed three children together, and their divorce was ultimately finalized in 2018. In the years since, Ben and Jennifer appear to have maintained a strong and friendly co-parenting relationship to the benefit of their three shared children, Violet, 17, Serafina, 14, and Samuel, 11. Ben has publicly credited Jennifer for her unwavering support during these periods and has previously spoken out about how his addiction was one of the main causes of their split, stating in 2020 that he started drinking more and more as their marriage was falling apart, which only led to more marital problems. He sought treatment for his addiction on multiple occasions during his marriage to Jennifer in 2008. 2017, and again, in 2018, after their divorce was finalized. The truth was we took our time, we made the decision, and we grew apart, he said of the breakdown of their marriage in December 2021, prompting Ben to face significant backlash after he appeared to attribute his struggles with alcoholism to his marriage to Jennifer. Ben had told Howard Stern that he had felt trapped toward the end of their 10-year relationship. Our marriage didn't work out. He went on to say, we tried because we had kids. We did not want it to serve as the children's role model. We gave it our all. I hoped she knew I was a good father and knew she was a good mother. Ben went on to discuss his alcoholism in greater detail, telling the host that he would probably still be drinking if he and Jennifer were still married. He stated, part of the reason I started drinking alcohol was because I felt trapped. I thought, I can't leave because of my children, but I'm not happy. What should I do? It turned out that drinking a bottle of scotch and falling asleep on the couch was not the solution. I had gone on and said how much we respect each other, and cared about each other, and cared about our kids, and put them first and went through our stuff, he explained, claiming that the quotes taken out of context made him appear like an awful guy. Given how much Ben had praised Jennifer for her love and support during his recovery, people found it shocking and disappointing that he seemed to suggest she was in any way to blame for his addiction. Regarding the allegations that he had blamed Jennifer, he stated, It is the exact opposite of who I am, what I believe. I would never want my children to believe that I would ever criticize their mother. I never have, and I never will. He ended by saying that being scrutinized by the media is just sort of the cost of doing business as an actor, but that he has a responsibility to safeguard his family. He was clearly hurt and frustrated. With my children, no, avoid doing that, it is false, it hurts both them and me, he said. Stop that, Ben's life has changed a lot since then. He got married to Jennifer Lopez in July of last year, and now, he's back in the spotlight promoting his new movie, Air. In a wide-ranging interview that was published yesterday, the two-time Oscar winner said he was nervous about being vulnerable in public after his comments about his ex were taken out of context. I view these things as landmines, where if you say one wrong thing, your career might be over, he said. I went through a very difficult time when I gave an interview where I was very vulnerable. The whole pickup was not only wrong, but it was actually the opposite of what I meant. The idea that I was blaming my wife for my drinking, he clarified, after Rebecca Keegan asked Ben if he was referring to his remarks to Howard Stern in 2021. To be clear, I am solely responsible for my actions. Endeavoring to better contextualize the first statements, Ben said the point he was planning to make was a miserable one about the difficulty of his divorce. I was attempting to say, hello, look, I was drinking x. With my children, no, avoid doing that, it is false, it hurts both them and me. He said, stop that. 
Ben's life has changed a lot since then he got married to Jennifer Lopez in July of last year, and now he's back in the spotlight promoting his new movie, Air. In a wide-ranging interview that was published yesterday, the two-time Oscar winner said he was nervous about being vulnerable in public after his comments about his ex were taken out of context. I view these things as landmines, where if you say one wrong thing, your career might be over, he said. I went through a very difficult time when I gave an interview where I was very vulnerable. The whole pickup was not only wrong, but it was actually the opposite of what I meant. The idea that I was blaming my wife for my drinking, he clarified, after Rebecca Keaton asked Ben if he was referring to his remarks to Howard Stern in 2021. To be clear, I am solely responsible for my actions. Endeavoring to better contextualize the first statements, Ben said the point he was planning to make was a miserable one about the difficulty of his divorce. I was attempting to say, hello, look, I was drinking excessively, and the less cheerful you become, whether it's your work, your marriage, it's only that as your life turns out to be more troublesome, assuming that you're getting things done to fill an opening that aren't sound, you will begin accomplishing a greater amount of those things, he said. Saying that he felt he'd been pretty expressive with his words, Ben got down on the power source that he asserts purposely misrepresented it to make it misleading content. No matter how many times I said, I do not feel this way, it did not matter. Ben reflected on the backlash at the time and said, I am telling you, I don't blame my ex-wife for my alcoholism. Returning to the present, Ben said that his current wife, Jennifer Lopez, gave him some advice on how to be vulnerable in front of the public. However, as Jennifer informs me today, relax, be yourself, have fun, before continuing to laud the singer, he said, but as in many things, she's really right. You're actually a fun guy who is real and genuine, she also adores me. She is protecting my interests. She tries to assist me. Therefore, he concluded, maybe I ought to fucking listen to her.